Hey guys, welcome back to our home. If you're new here, hello. My name is Ashley and we have six kiddos. We have a 16 year old who's almost 17 and I cannot believe I'm even saying that. Yeah, he's going to be 17. And then we have an eight year old, a six year old, a four year old, a three year old, and a one year old. So our house is full of fun and love and I am wide awake because my husband was going out to do snow plowing and I heard him get up and out and leave and I just could not go back to sleep. We came home the night before and it was one of those nights where the house was a total disaster. We came home from church and we kind of just looked at each other and looked around and nobody wanted to do anything and I was okay with that. It's I think it was one of those nights where we need to just say no to cleaning and just go get a good night's sleep. So our house is kind of messy and I thought this morning it would be a great opportunity to go through my planner and just make sure I am doing everything for the week and then take a glance at next week, get some stuff organized and definitely start cleaning. I'm going to have to stay really quiet because the main floor is where the kiddos are sleeping so I have to be quiet but I really feel that it'll be good if you're new thank you for joining us today and go ahead and pop your name down in the comments below and say hi The cake mess that you're seeing on the table there, we tried to do some little heart chocolate covered cakes and they did not work out. And before you knew it, it was time to get ready and go to church. So it kind of just stayed there <laughs> and it was so gross. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a fan of cleaning out hard chocolate out of things. It's just not fun. But anyways, it did not work out. If you ever do something like this, I think the better way would just be to dip it in the chocolate instead of trying to mold it into those little heart things. Anyways, it was really gross and it did not turn out. Standing underneath the lights Look into each other's eyes Tired snowflakes are coming down Collapse into water when they hit the ground I hear the sound of empty streets Yesterday has gone to sleep So all that's left is you and me I can promise you're the only thing I see Some nights when I just go to sleep and don't clean up the house and just let it go, I wake up the next morning feeling so refreshed and I just want to encourage you that you don't always have to have your house cleaned up. You can say no, you can look the other way and just go crawl in bed. I feel some nights that I actually do that. I get a great night's sleep. I feel so refreshed in the morning and I can get my house back in order the next day. I don't have to do it right then and there. And that's what I'm doing now. I don't have anyone that needs me right now. Everybody's sleeping all peacefully and quiet. And I'm just sitting here tidying up the house so everyone can wake up to a clean house. Standing underneath the 
lights Look into each other's eyes There's no one left but you and me It's like a made up place that only we can see I know it's nothing new But it's so good to see you This every day, and I'm still so amazed by you. So hold me tight through the night. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just us two. out she has been wanting a little countdown for one of the holidays any of them really she just thinks it's so fun to count down and I grabbed this it was I think three or five dollars but she likes to be able to see stuff like that and we just thought it was so cute this is all done I am so thankful that you guys came along and tackled this with me I felt so overwhelmed just looking at it but I'm really glad it's done and that our day is just getting to a good start and read my bible i went over the planner and i'm getting cleaning done and no kids are waking up so this is so exciting and i'm gonna pop in the front room and keep quiet still and then head down in the basement and straighten that up Every 
single day. And now we are down here in the basement. It really is not horrible. It just needs organized and cleaned up and things put in the right places. But the pile of clothes in the middle of the floor, I guess somebody thought they had time to fold. And we usually don't fold in the basement, so I don't know why it was down there. But I will go ahead and get those folded too. And then I will just leave the piles down there. And when they wake up, have them just grab their piles downstairs because it's good chores for them to put their clothes away. And we in our house work as a team. I always say all hands on deck is kind of my saying because one person cannot carry the entire load of this house and I would not be able to homeschool and cook, clean, do the dishes, the laundry, go grocery shopping, grade papers, and spend time with my kiddos, and read and do puzzles and all this. I mean everything obviously you have to have a schedule but all hands on deck is my favorite saying and we have to make sure one person is not taking on the entire load i just want to show you how i kind of organize down here those are the big toys in that big bin and then we move over here, we have the car bin. It's just all cars. This bin is the books and puzzles for Jed and Caleb. That is the army guys. And then down here we have books, all kinds of books that need organized. And then in here we have large Legos. The toddlers really like to play with those and build. So not the small ones, the large ones. And in here are all dinosaurs and animals we try to keep. And it's not cleaned out. This needs organized too. And this last bin is my absolute favorite. It's the little people. It's kind of like the older ones. Patrick's aunt had given this to us. And these pieces are just bring back so many memories of our childhood. They're just so cute. And I try my best to make sure this stays organized but I adore these little people. I think we used to play with these all the time and look at the little swing and she gives us her toys. We rotate the toys around, but her grandson is just a year older than my eight year old. I think he's nine. So they kind of like pass down his stuff to us and we really enjoy it. And it just kind of makes a fun rotation of toys. But this is treasure right here. These little, little people toys. I adore it. So cute. Wait till you see everything else. over here kind of cleaning my one son's desk Isaiah this is his desk oh and I did put that garland up right there for the kiddos even though they're done with school it's still fun to decorate down here for Valentine's Day so put some hearts up for them and I'm gonna put little hearts on their boards with their names and hope he hung up the wreath that I had made but anyways I have to show you this is so cute so Isaiah we had talked about my binder and stuff and I was just encouraging the boys that this would be good for the older two to kind of start working on like a not even a binder just schedules and writing things down that you need to do like this this is Isaiah he is probably my most tender-hearted little guy and 
this put a smile on my face like look how cute so he borrowed he took one of my yearly goals which is totally okay and in january he has clean book read and school which he didn't spell right but that's okay and then same thing over here and then i think it's cute how he only put clean there but not there or there <laughs> It's cute though. I just, even if school book needs done with a big explanation mark, sell book. <laughs> oh, cleaning is back. That's good. This was so cute. I love it. And then there's no more cleaning. So cleaning out of two months. So that's good. Anyways, I love the fact that he's trying to put something together. That's really cute, I love it. I got this boy in my mind that I can't live without all his eyes I can be. And he keeps talking about everything that he likes and I can't stop listening. I'm thinking about him all the time. I'm thinking about him all the time. I'm thinking about him all the time, all the time. And my heart's beating fast when it's looking like that. Oh, his smile is killing me. It's the way that it moves and the way that it laughs, so I can't get enough. I'm thinking about him all the time. I can get him off my mind. Oh, I want him to be mine, to be mine. I wanna say yeah 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 yeah. You know I want him na 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 na. I wanna say yeah 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 yeah. I told him I can be a fighter if you want. I'll be there to catch you if you fall. I can make it brighter when it's dark. When it's dark. I told him I would do it all for you, and I know you do it for me too. I can be a fighter if you want. If you want. Yeah, I can be a fighter. And here I am just at the printer printing out the kids' names. We have these bins you'll see here in a second for their shoes and socks. And they are just not staying organized. And since some of the little kiddos can't read, I figured if I color coordinated each bin that they could tell whose is whose and what is what. So I started this a while ago. I have these little tubs. I think they're in the kitchen section at Target. And I think they're for dishes, like if you're washing them by hand. But anyways, I thought these would be perfect for the shoes and socks. And we got that like container thing from a yard sale. So this has just worked for us. I know that we're probably due for something else some, sometime soon because we have another pair of shoes and socks coming down. But this is what works and I've been using it for a long time and they each get a bin for their shoes and their socks and Brent has outgrown these bins because his feet are so big. <laughs> so he has his own little container in the back that isn't, you can't see it, but he has his own thing he does. But here I am just labeling them and Hope is pink, Noah is blue, Jed is yellow, and Isaiah will be green.
I know this is totally random, but I have to share this with you. We got this during the pandemic. They took those foot measuring things out of most of the footwear stores where you buy shoes. But at DSW, they had these papers and I came home and laminated it and put it by our shoes and socks because it's good to be able to just measure and then go try and find shoes and not assume that all shoe places have these because they don't. So I laminated this and I think this is such a good tool if you can find one Put it by your kids shoe stuff and just even a chart i'm gonna do a chart and print out and put their shoe sizes down because sometimes my husband wants to know what size so and so is and this is just such a good tool to have i think i might be stuck on you i love the things you did did you hear bad sounds yeah okay no, We are headed straight into crafts. I hope you guys enjoy these and maybe get some ideas of your own. They are decorating their mailboxes right now. We got these stickers at the dollar store and they love doing this. They look forward to it every year because in a few weeks here they will be putting their mailboxes on their school desks and I will be leaving them their little love notes.
Take a step into the river Get down on your knees Come to the mountain While taking in the view You will find the life is Greater than you knew When you go through the storm I will hold you, keep you warm Shelter, I will find. I will find. Oh, you're broken and you're shattered at the point of no return. You pick up the pieces. You let the bridges burn So come to the water You're sailing with the breeze Take a step into the river Where you will find peace Where you go through the storm I will hold you, keep you warm Where you stay in the night Shelter, I will fight Oh, yeah I will fight When you go through the storm I will hold you, keep you warm When you stay in the night I will share Take a step into take a step the river. into the river and get down on your get knees. down on your knees come to the mountain well take it in the view you will find the life is greater than you knew when you go through the storm I will hold you keep you warm I will find, I will find oh, oh. You're broken and you're shattered At the point of no return 